Hello guys and girls, welcome back to the Racing Line for another circuit guide here on iRacing. This is week 4 of season 4, 2021 in the D-Class Fix Ferrari Challenge with me driving the brand new Ferrari 488 GT3 Evo 2020. This week we are back to the Hockenheim Ring, the GP layout and the date and time is set to the 9th of October 2021 at 1.40 in the afternoon to match the official race time settings. All circuit guides are done with a sprint setup now that is used for these fixed series. And of course, same format as before. Breakdown lap followed by a full speed uninterrupted lap followed by an off-board lap. And as usual, this is filmed before the week has begun, so it's difficult to compare lap times. But let's see if we can help you guys find some time. So here we go then on the short main straight. We want to be on the left-hand side looking for the 100-meter board ever so slightly after. We're just going to gradually ease on those brakes. Go down into third gear. You don't want to scrub off too much speed. Get it turned in. As soon as you hit that apex, back full throttle, using a bit of the curb on the exit and straight up the gears again. We want to still be on the left-hand side, ready for this tight right-hander of turn two. And we're going to break around the 125-meter mark in between the 150 and the 100. Hard on the brakes, down to first gear. Get it turned in. Try and avoid the sausage curb on the inside and then squeeze the throttle on nice and gently as you climb up through the gears, should be flat out through this left-hander nice and easily. Up through the gears we go for a nice long straight and perfect overtaking opportunity. Slipstream heavy down here as it's flat out all the way. We don't quite reach sixth gear. We want to hold it to the left-hand side as we approach the tightest hairpin uh, ever. And then you've got the curve on the left-hand side. Hard on the brakes from fifth down into first gear just as that curve starts. Ever so hard and then just gradually trail break in. You can miss the apex. That's no problem as long as you get it turned in and ease on that throttle nice and easy to get the best possible exit you can. You really need traction on that exit. It's so important. Flat out through this right hander as you go back up through the gears. You want to get back to the right hand side and our braking zone is going to be in the middle of this short curb on the right hand side. You can see there's a brake up ahead. So in the middle of that curb on the right, hard on the brakes, down to first again. Get it turned in. Now ease on the power so you don't lose the rear end. Get to the left. You're going to quickly lift off this right. Not fully, just a little bit of a lift and then get back on the power, up into third gear, up into fourth, hold it to the left-hand side. Now, this braking zone is tricky. It's, you got to just guess when you're passing that tree on your left-hand side. We're going to dab the brakes and get down into third, and then get back on the power as soon as we can. Get down too early, and you'll do this and go straight on the gravel. I was lucky to not be pulled out, and it wasn't a 1x. 75-meter mark for the next braking zone, in between the 100 and the 50. Uh, down on the brakes, hard into second gear. Coast round, feathering that throttle. As soon as you feel comfortable, get off flat on that power. Flat out through this left, flat out through this right. The braking zone just past the apex on this right-hand side. Dab the brakes down into second gear. Watch the input. We'll do this in slow motion. Half on the brakes, down into second. Now coast in, trail brake in. You should now be feathering the throttle all the way through this double right-hander. You come right out to the left-hand side. You can use a bit of curb, that's fine. Your main aim is to hit this apex. You should be full throttle from this point, assuming that there's a little bit of extra track there as you can use all of that curb without getting a one and across the line for a 137.7. Now let's go full speed, uninterrupted, over what we just went over. So, just after the 100 meter board, down to third, back on the throttle at the apex point using all the curve on the exit. Try not to go too th far, you will get a 1x. Hold it to the left hand side, 125 meter mark, fifth down to first, get it turned in. Avoid the sausage curve on the inside, but use that as a throttle point. You can see feathering that throttle up through the gears straight away, flat out through that left hander, and now you can have a nice break thinking about what you're going to do for the rest of the lap. Very slipstream heavy this is going to be, and I guarantee there will be some almighty sends in the official races into this hairpin from about five car lengths back. Just as the curb starts, hard on the brakes, down to first gear. It doesn't matter if you miss the apex too much. Exit is the most important thing here. If you're going to get dive bomb, try and set up the exit to get a switch back and get the move back done into this flat out right hander. You can turn in quite early, really, and use a little bit of the curve if you want to. Just don't touch the grass. In between this curve on the right, hard on the brakes, down to first. Get it turned in. Now watch the throttle input. Smooth on the power, up through the gears. Get it to the left-hand side. Lift off, not fully. Back on the power straight away up into third gear to get the traction out of that corner. You can use a bit of curve on the exit as well. Look for the tree on the left as you pass it. Dab the brakes down to third. Get it turned in. You can use a lot of curve on the inside if you need to, but it does mess up your line slightly. Just be careful not to touch that gravel. 75-meter board. Well, there's no board, but in between the 100 and the 50, down to second, coast through, full throttle now through this left, full throttle through the right, just after the apex, dab the brakes, down to second, coast in, feather in the throttle, stab the throttle there, lift off again, get it, t get it towards that final apex, and then full throttle on the exit using all the curve on the exit. There is no 1x. And that is a lap of the Hockenheim Ring GP. Stumbled my words a little bit there, but it's a hell of a lap. 
as usual, that is pretty much it from me. I am going to leave you with this off-board. Don't forget to keep those likes and comments coming in and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. In terms of the Snetterton competition to win a car or track of your choice, don't forget to comment down below what lap time you think I have done for the Snetterton guide. I'm actually going to release a video this week. Not of the lap time, of course, because you still have time to guess. You've got until week six is when I'm going to announce the winner. So you've got a couple weeks left yet. But I'm going to post a new video where anyone who's entered so far, I'll put their times in the description or the comments. And then everyone can comment on that video to enter the competition. All you have to do is be a subscriber and comment what time you think I did for the Snetterton Guide. As usual, that is pretty much it from me. If I don't see you on track this week, then I'll see you next week for the next video here on The Racing Line. Peace.